Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from Run the Foot Market. We got a new video for you guys tonight. We are on FIFA 20. Um, we are playing the game for you guys. Now, unfortunately, I have some really bad news for you guys. By the way, before we get into it, if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up. Guys, let me know how your day one went, man. Let me know how you guys are doing on your road to glories. If you guys are doing that, you guys know that's what I'm doing. Um, I just came off a long stream, but again, we're keeping the double uploads going as long as we can. And I think for me, I, I just couldn't get off today without getting you guys an upload. It's not going to take too long. Won't be too much of your time, but just an update for you guys in the market, the recap, and where I'm at with my account so you guys can follow that. Let me know in the comments down below. Again, man, how you guys are doing? How was your day one? I have three hours and 31 minutes left of my access, so I'm going to try to not take too much time on this video so we can keep saving it for videos and streams. The bad news, guys, is that it does not look like at the moment there's an EA access glitch. Really sucks. It's been available the last two years. This year was available for NHL and for Madden, and it just doesn't look like it's available for foot. I don't know why really sucks right something that we've never really had a problem with and now we have a problem now by the way menus look unbelievable i love them um guys i am doing a complete road to glory and so we have grinded some division rivals today we went nine and one i lost one of my placement games been undefeated in rivals so that's good we're in division four my skill rating is 1346 um just to show you guys i bought a team when i got on today just because i wanted to play the game i was telling you guys be a little bit careful with some of the prices to pick out right now it's a tough time and you want to just focus on trading and flipping coins rather than really fully investing into a team. You guys can do that whenever you want. I think prices will stably rise and we'll talk about some of that in a minute. Weekend League is about two weeks away, so keep that in mind. But this was the team that I'm rocking with. Obviously, I'm a little bit low on contracts. No, I did not pack an icon. These are loans. So this is what I've got. And I'll go over this on my second channel if you guys want to follow that. There's gameplay and stuff going up there now for the rest of the year now that we can actually access the game, which is awesome. So I've got Ben Yetter and I actually bought Ben Yetter for 14K uh on the web app period because i thought he would go up initially with the game coming out and people playing gameplay um that's what i was saying with the metas we're going to go up a little bit ben Yeter's at 25k 30k not really a hard trend to understand right when people are going to get the game they're obviously going to play the game now i did want to talk about in this video this idea of now that the ea access glitch um you know obviously doesn't work there's going to be people playing a lot of less games right that's a big deal um that's a really big deal, guys, because if people are playing less games, then the gameplay is not as, you know, popping. Also, I think the supply will keep coming because I think a lot of the people opening FIFA points are going to transfer them, obviously, onto their account from FIFA 19. And then maybe they're going to not open the packs in the game. They're going to actually open them on the web app. That's what I think a lot of people will do to save the time because people know the time is of the essence. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I've got this Ben Yedder now at 30K. What I'm going to do with my team, I think, is this, guys. I'm loving my team. They're really good, um, and I'm enjoying them. I'm thinking with CoinWise... Um, I'm thinking, guys, what I'm going to end up doing is probably taking the profit when my hours run out because I won't have the game for four days. Uh, so it will be helpful for me to gather those coins to trade. So basically, I bought this team. I had 8K left over, and I was able to trade myself today all the way back up to 47K. So right now with my team value and then obviously, um, you know, not only team value, but also with, I think, my my transfer list and stuff, we're going to be looking at 120K right now, you know, somewhere around there. So if you look at my transfer profit, we're doing pretty good. Um, you know, we're not opening packs, so we're not going to be that high on here because as Road to Glory, obviously, you started a huge disadvantage. We're almost at that 100K mark, which is really, really solid. So I want to show you guys, <coughs> excuse me, a few ways of making coins. Really quickly, guys, make sure that you're clicking your right stick um, to access some of the objectives. You guys may have some of these objectives, whether it's season pass objectives uh, season objectives, milestone objectives, foundations objectives, things like these that you just may not even know uh, that you guys can uh, you know access or unlock. Make sure you guys are doing this. Um, it's just something that you guys should be doing. 100%. You guys should all be doing this stuff, man. Um, it's something that I think, you know, I've gotten a ton of, I've probably gotten a coins through here. People have been asking me as well about the match boosts. How do those work? And are, are they, they're automatically, guys, if you have a match boost, they will be added onto your game. So as you guys can see here, uh, for sales, right? And this is what I've got. So what I was doing earlier was I was literally just going through a rotation of players based on my budget. So this Cali Hone was pretty much bought when I was like under 20K. And I'll show you guys what I was doing. So what I what I did, and this is what I've been doing. Now, this is the time of the time of the, once you get to 47K, you get these buzzers. Now you guys can start to identify trends. You guys can start to see cards that are maybe dipping that were higher when the Europe was awake. Not the Europe, I mean the people of Europe when they were on the game, playing the game, because that's the mass mass base, right? This had 3 million transfers out there. Now it's 1.4. So it is going a little bit lower. That's also why right now, if you guys look on the market, um, right now there's a lot of cards that are going insanely high in price. That is due to a nighttime rarity. Um, that is because right now there's not a lot of cards getting packed. A lot of people are trying to play this game um, and build teams. So a lot of these cards are just panic going up right now. 
Um, it's crazy. Neymar was just 600K, now he's 750. So this nighttime rarity just really hit a full effect. Um, and there's less listings, so people still want to play the game. I'm going to be very interested to see what happens in the next coming days. I do still think a rise is going to happen because I think realistically people are just getting coins and going on. But is it going to be as drastic as this one today? Because today was crazy because I think everybody really realized, oh man, I have to play this game. So I have to buy a team because I've only got 10 hours. So I think that really happened today. I think we will see a little bit of a drop in overall, um, like just general guys. I think like overall um, today, you not t today, but when the early access comes out itself. So the early access guys, obviously, as you guys know, it um, deals with um, the release of everybody getting the pre-order edition. So that's the unlimited hours. I think when that starts to come out, we're going to be looking at a little bit of a difference in conversation, guys, of what's going to happen to the market. Because even though coins will be brought onto the game in that specific day, I'm not 100% sure if it's going to go up right away. I think you're going to have a dip with gold. So something interesting today that I wanted to point out, a lot of the cards that were just kind of like weirdly rare last night, like Eric Lamella, you know, this guy was, I sold him at 4K last night. And now he dropped again. So this is a non really meta player. A lot of the metas kept rising today a ton. Um, I actually bought him a Tweety before I got onto the, uh, before I got onto the, what do you call it? The console. I bought this guy at 12K on the web app and then I sold him at 22 earlier. Now he's probably like 30 as people build teams. And now he's up a lot, right? But I was able to use the coins and, and progress with myself. Now he's 30K, right? So that makes sense because people are building teams and he rises with that. But that's also something within your within it that I would look at, right? 30K there, it's actually a sizable undercut. Looks like he's about 32.5 right now. So this is how I'm kind of trading right now. You see that one undercut and say you have 47K. You see these 32,500 coins, which means your tax around this level is only gonna be about like 1,000 to 800, 1,900 coins. So if you have the luxury of more of these coins, the margin of these cards that pop up um is higher now this is it's it's really complex and i want to walk you guys through kind of what i did today and the thought process of it to, of it to make coins so i'll talk to you guys about it while i'm trying to snipe this matweedy so the first thing i did today um was i had a rotation of players as i saw the market going upwards that were rising quickly so leno was one of them um but not really expensive they were like four to five cage socrates was one of them popular bpl players that were rising what i was doing was i was playing games while the cards were listed so i would buy the cards for a 200 coin undercut 300 coin undercut and i would list 1000 coins over the cheapest what it was because the market was rising in that specific hour and continuing for the day it was rising rapidly earlier so i knew that it was going to sell and i was going to get coins while i was playing games and that was kind of a process that i was repeating and, and and doing and it really helped me make some coins when i was doing that so i suggest to any of you guys that are grinding squad battles that are grinding rivals make sure you guys are having cards listed at all times while you guys are grinding those game modes because it's going to be huge for all of you to just generate and bring in coins um, in that aspect. It's going to make you guys a ton of coins. So just make sure you guys are doing it. It's something that you cannot ignore. And it's got to be a part of, of, of your rotation, of, of your club and your management, right? So this Matuidi is not, uh, not too successful right now. Another thing, this is something really big that I want to show you. And this is Flippin. Um, you know, Flippin was really helping me out do this. Not even helping me out, but this was something that I use Flippin rather more to understand. So we're on flipping and this is kind of what I was doing. I was looking at popular. This is one thing you could do. So you could look at popular, set this based on your coin, you know, balance, right? These are the most used players in FIFA 19 right now. That's that's a fact. These are the players that are the most used players or the highest in, in, in popularity at the moment. So you go onto the game and you see, let's say Gomez right there. We saw Gomez on my budget. I would, I, I could go for Gomez. I could go for Endombele and Felipe Anderson. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go onto the game and I'm going to go for them. Um, I'm going to go for all three of them right now. And we're going to go in a rotation. We're going to go in a rotation back and forth right now through all these guys. So we're going to go for Gomez first. He's 4,000 coins according to Flippin, which is another trading method within itself because I bet he's a little bit more than that. No, he's 4.3. So we'll go on. And this is a good budget maybe for a guy, you know, with not too many coins, maybe 10,000 coins. So this guy is, that was a good snipe because he's, I think he's 4.2 from the looks of it. He's going to be about 4.1. So with this, we set the budget, let's say 3.8. And we see what comes up, right? Let's see what comes up. That one got sniped pretty quickly. There's one at 3.5. So we missed that one. But look at all these, man. That's 600 coins right there. The one before was 300 coins. So let's see maybe that one. All right, so that one's tight, right? Because at 4,000 coins, guys, obviously the tax, we're only going to make like 100 coins in that car, but that's not great. But if you have a lot of coins, start sniping a lot of these, it turns out to be worth it. 3.7 would really be what we want. So we're going to lower ours down to 3.7. And there are a lot of these popping up, which is a good thing. There's a lot of these popping up. So I'm, I'm, I'm very hopeful that I'll get a really good one. Obviously, there's been a few that have been sniped almost every time. Now, what I would be doing as well, go down by two. 
make sure you guys are going down by two because if you go down by two that's the key with sniping a lot of people ask me that why do i do it you have a way less chance of getting banned if you go down by two so somebody's on this filter so a lot of the time what i would do if i feel like somebody's on it and obviously somebody will be on it because it's the most popular player i'll move on to another player i just don't want to mess around with that i really don't want to mess around with a guy that everybody's on so end belly is 19k but he's not he's probably about i would say 19750 so you guys could snipe at about 18k and you could probably take take the money on it right and i would probably even if you guys ended up sniping it at 18k i would even probably list it at 20k just because that will get you that extra boost of coins that you probably didn't know you could get but you really really at the end of the day could have got so make sure that you're doing that so right i don't see him for a minute okay i might go to the next one i might now say who's another popular player that's kind of cheap vinicius jr looks pretty cheap vinicius jr is 6400 coins that's a player that i could go on he's an unpopular player now this is one of the things i didn't 100 do this today i'll show you guys exactly what i did do because i did do something it was very good for me today um so let's see vinicius jr 6.4k so we'll we'll go for anything under 6k fine right 5.9 pops up right away 5k can we get it we got it right so that's right there that's a thousand coins and that's a lot to a lot of people right now so in an inflated market i'm not really in a rush to sell them i probably could have listed at 6.5 or 6.6 but that's a thousand coins and that's awesome because that is just a a, a a an efficiency rotation of just kind of going to the next player if the one player doesn't work you know i'm gonna try him for another minute and a lot of the times maybe you only get one and then you just kind of have to go to the next player and that's how it goes so i'm gonna keep looking at him and usually i set like price targets so i'll go down to like 820 on this guy see how it's at 829 i'll give it a little bit more time and then i'll move on to the next one and and that's fine with me i don't i don't really care you know so we'll go down we'll go one more and nothing there so the next one we'll try is quincy promise we could try quincy promise now that works for me so we'll try quincy promise uh we'll see what's going on here and let's see what happens boys so 3.9 3.8 okay 3.5 so quincy promise is three point he's gonna sell at 3.5 so if we get him at 3.5 we can get him and this is a great one because there's not a lot of tax here so if we get him anywhere basically at 3 200 we can list at 3.5 we know we're gonna get the sale so that's a 3.1 right that's great because that's gonna get me instant coins so that's really nice really nice flip um so we'll be able to go 3.5 and even if you wanted to overnight that you guys might actually be able to hold that one and just kind of wait and see if you wake up in the morning he's 500 coins because 500 coins more because the market is going in its upwards direction at an all time right now so it's just going to keep going up so i got one quincy promise and honestly this guy's an 82 rated so the lower the rating you're going to get the more pack chance you're going to have with these guys so as you guys can see quincy promise almost popping up almost every minute so this is awesome right there's a lot at 3.5 but eventually we'll get our sale because as you could see at the 3.5 listing if you're patient it sells um because they were up with like 54 minutes left which is awesome so i'll try to get one more quincy promise for you guys and then i'll probably try to move in and show you guys a little bit more of what i was doing today which was a really really nice trading method i was doing something today where i was kind of sniping like not spc fodder golds but in a rotation of looking at some of the spc fodder players um and then i think once after today you know once after we get through today i think it's a really good look then to start identifying trends i think we're gonna have to get a full 24 hours in the market to start identifying you know and seeing with players what what players are going to sell at what price when um that's going to be a big deal so like quincy promo is right not really working i'll try to do one more player just because this is actually going pretty decent right now so let's go for morales really popular spanish striker um i think he's an 82 and he's it says flipping says he's 8.2k let's see what his price is so he's 8.7k from what i can see 8.4k uh 8.1k so 8.1k so the tax here is going to be a little bit more so i'm going to kind of set it at 7.4 what was the exact bin 8.5 8.4 no it's actually like 8.6 so we could say if it's like 8.6 8.6 we could sell it at 8.6 so let's go for like 7. Point, let's go for like 7.8 right and this would be one that maybe you know you're on my budget you guys have 40,000 coins i just like the lower the rated player because i think with that by ea's pack weight you know i think that the lower the rated the play lower rated player the more of a chance you guys are going to have for the guy to pop up so you try this out for a little bit if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't right so now what you do right let's let's go figure out some other things to go do um so this is just another thing that you guys can start to do okay here's another thing right here so coleman according to flipping is 20k now he was just 25k so let me take a look at him right now let's see he was just 25k so now he's dropping a little bit he's down to 20k 19k so he's not he's not as high as he was before which is quite interesting so these are kind of the trends that you guys can start to identify maybe he's now heading in that downwards trend 
let's see if we can pick up a crazy little undercut. I don't know. I missed the Komen at 10K when he was 19K earlier. So we'll give him a shot. And then I'll kind of show you guys a final thing that I was doing uh, trading-wise. Now, a lot of this stuff, guys, you could bid if you want. I just like... This is not necessarily sniping. It's just kind of a rotation of, of looking through players. And you are sniping, but you're not triggering anything. So go over to flipping, guys. And this is what I was doing. Based on your budget, set the price targets. So set the price targets. Um, set the price targets, guys, on flipping. So this is... Where's, where's my target? So PS, right? Let's try 5 to 10K. And what it's going to do is going to sort it by rating. So what I like to do is go down. And like, you guys could do any of those players, right? Don't get me wrong. Not all the way down there, but I like to go like here. So these are the lower rated players, but they're going to get packed a ton. So let's try like Callum Wilson. Because Callum Wilson's an 80 rated card. And he's obviously, you guys can see, 7.2K. So I would get a rotation of these players to snipe. Because you're going to have the highest chance that these guys are consistently popping up with the ratings. So 7.5, Callum Wilson is 7.2K. All right, so that's a guy that you're going to be able to flip quickly because he's an EPL striker. Um, he's 7K, so 6.8. So anything at 7 is going to sell. So we probably want to get 6.5 and under. Let's see how quickly this pops up. That's, that's kind of what I'm interested to see. Because of the rating, let's see how many of these pop up um, right away. It may be similar to the 82s. It may not be different. So what I've been doing is I've been doing this. And you guys can adjust this literally on any budget. Because I was doing this this morning when I had no coins. All right. So he's not working. He's not popping up. And obviously, it's the nighttime. So you're going to see you're gonna see less. So let's go to Rebic. Rebic is 6.5, 6.7, 6.3. I think he's 6.5. So 6.1. I don't know if that one's got bought or not. I don't know if that got bought. There's a 6.1, 6.4. All right. So 6.4. So with Rebic, he's an 80-rated striker from Milan. Let's go 5.9. Let's see if we can get any at 5.9. So this is kind of the rotation, guys, that I would start to do. Um, and I think it's going to be something that you guys can really get a hang of. And just, just kind of get in your groove of finding players, guys, that are going to sell, um, that are inflated. So obviously, a normal price for 78 is probably, or 79 or 80 is probably, you know, 1,000 coins. A lot of people would just be blind opening packs and listing these guys up for 3 to 4K. Um, so this is where you're, that's where you're going to get your snipes. Um... That's just definitely where you're going to get your snipes. Now, um, let's talk about some of the, you know, the keeper sell questions and that kind of stuff. Obviously, you know, there's a lot of really good deals on the market right now still. There's there's goalkeepers that are 90 rated, they're 20K. There's Thomas Muller, who's like, I think, 8,000 coins for an 86. Guys, all this stuff will eventually go up when there is an SBC. Um, for the meantime, I would just be focusing on different kind of meta players and things like that. Now, squad fitness is another thing that I wanted to talk about. Um, this is 600 coins. If you guys are a guy that really wants a stock up investment, you guys remember if you play FIFA 19, these are like 1.5k sometimes. Just put it, if you guys are a guy that has a lot of coins, just put a ton of these squad fitnesses in your club, man. It's not going to hurt you. Um, and it's going to end up doing you a lot in the long run. I'm telling you guys right now, you guys got to trust me on that. It's going to help you guys so much in the long run. So just trust me on that one, guys. And then I'll finally, I finally, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to end my night on the video with you guys with a rotation, um, of a, of a Josh King. We're going to go for a Josh King. 4.5k. I don't even know if that's good. Flippin says he's 5K. I'm probably going to choke that. We'll see. He's 4.8. All right. So that was good that we didn't do that. So we just saw two pop up already. I think he's 4.7 if I'm going to take a guess. Can we get that one? I'm probably going to miss that one. We actually got Josh King for 4,000 coins. Perfect. So this is exactly what I'm talking about, guys. And then you're going to list him. And sometimes you'll find a player. Like earlier, I had Socrates that was popping up every minute. And I literally made like probably 10K on Socrates and, and, and Leno in like two minutes. Because they just kept popping and nobody was on it. So you guys got to try to get those filters or try to find the players that seem a little bit more, quote-unquote, ghost towny, um, you know, than some other players. That's kind of how I like to put it. But, yeah, I mean, that's real talk, guys. So, you know, hopefully the video helped you guys tonight. I think tomorrow what we'll do is we'll focus on a video with just strict market trends for you guys. So you guys get that. I'm tight on access, so I don't want to be here forever. And then we already flipped the Vinicius and Promas, which is awesome, right? So that's good. Still lazy to see some bronzes. Thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. More market stuff coming for you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching, boys. Peace out.